over smoking a little bit of weed? You knew she was doing drugs. It's not like that. You knew. Don't slam my door. Mom. Who ridded her out? Was it Ali? When did you start doing pills? I did. Gia, if you want to drug test me, let's just do it. I don't need to. Jules told me everything. Jules told her? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Where'd you put my pills, Mom? Where did you put it? Wait, wait, wait. Calling the police. No, you can't. You yes. can't do that. You, you huh? will not attack me in my own house. I will. I raised you. And you do not fucking scare me. I just want to punch both of these women. And while I'm at it, get Jules in here so I can punch her too. <laughs> you know, it's a shame, Mom. Dad's dead. Kind of keeps you from admitting what a shit fucking mother you are. Yeah. That's enough. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. You want to hit me? Yeah. I know you want to get the yeah. off of me. Don't you fucking touch her. What the fuck? Gia touched her. Where's my fucking pills? Where are they? No. Why don't you call the cops now? Don't you have a phone in there? <laughs> Where'd you put? Maybe you should just explain the suitcase situation to her. Although then she probably just wants to call the cops again. So what was she actually planning to do with that suitcase? Wasn't she just planning to take all the drugs in there? I mean, I didn't see her sell anything, so surely that would have become a problem no matter what. <gasps> uh, or did she not know these two were here? <laughs> this doesn't fucking concern you, Jules. Yes, it does. does. No, fuck it does. Yes, it does. How? Because I don't want you to kill yourself. So why didn't you talk to her first? Pfft. Also, once again, how did she not notice anything? You're dead to me, Jules. I don't believe you. You know, I have a lot of regrets. Meeting you has got to be at the top of my list. <laughs> yeah, you're a vampire. Sucking the fucking spirit out of everyone! It's all about Jules, right? That's me at my fucking lowest! I love you, and I want to help you. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Okay. I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, no shit, dude. Who the fuck are you even? You enter this show out of nowhere and just fuck everything up. And now he just leaves, dude. Job done, huh? Can I take you to the hospital? Yeah. You know, these first 15 minutes are a perfect display of what this show could have been if the showrunner just tend such a hard on for sex and nudity and fantasy sequences. Oh, and music videos, if he had just focused on storytelling. Let's just get you back into rehab. I thought you said we were going to the ER. Yeah, baby, it's the same thing. You need to let me out of this car. I don't care. I don't want to fucking do this. Mom! Can't do this. I'm sorry, Mom, I can't. I can't do this. What is this? Amateur hour? Why did you not lock the doors? Hey. Hey, are you okay? I think I just have like a cold or something. Okay, well don't get me sick because I have rehearsal. They haven't even cleaned up here yet. There's still the birthday party shit. Oh Hi. 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 Why is everyone still here? Feeling okay? Yeah. You look terrible. Yeah, better call her mother and tell her where Rue is. Can I use your bathroom nice. nightmare? Absolutely. Thank you. Nice to see you. You look great. She's not doing good. <laughs> Why is that woman actually not drinking? Oh, fuck. I'll never fucking end. <laughs> of course they called her. Let me take you to the hospital. I can't get clean. I can't do that shit forever. You don't have to. Just take it one day at a time. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> How long have you been fucking Nate Jacobs? What? How does she know? I saw her get in his truck and then kiss him and drive off like a month ago. Cass, that's like really bad. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh yeah, it's really bad. To fuck the ex. <laughs> Childish bullshit. And why would Rue even say that? She just got snitched on and now she snitches? I'm yeah. okay. Literally gonna get violent. No, there is no need. Why are you even here, Maddie? Your birthday's over. I mean, that's a bit convenient that everyone's here. Bit of a shame that Nate isn't here too. <laughs> Stupid you guys. Come on. Stop. What did you do? Way too long. How did you just let her run out? Are you completely... Dude. No, it's really amateur. <laughs> I'm going to withdraw and I, I need something. Can't help you. I don't have nothing here. I don't keep nothing at the house no more. Then where do you keep something? Surely he has something somewhere. Oh yeah, of course, granny stuff. <laughs> Come on now, Rue. She won't even know that they're gone. She won't miss them. Principal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy, Give it to me, Rue. Please. Give it to me. Give it to him or he calls Astray. You gotta go. leave the house, Rue. Let go. Rue. Fuck, 
hands off me! Fuck off, you piece of shit! You want to come over here? You want to? Fares is almost losing his pants. <laughs> Guys, you left your garage door open. Yeah, that gate closes a bit late, doesn't it? What the hell was there, dude? <sighs> Whose house is this even? Hey, you're cute. Oh, ow. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Harold. Why is Harold so trusting? He went from growling to sitting on her lap. <laughs> Well, at least now she can pay her drug debts. It's probably not enough, though. Maybe she should have taken that gun and just kill that drug dealer hag. Okay, I think someone broke in. Get the gun. <laughs> Found her immediately, dude. <laughs> Very inconspicuous. Where are you headed? Home. What was that? I said I'm headed. Run! <laughs> Shit, we got a runner. We got a runner. <laughs> it's not a crime to do a little late night jogging. <laughs> what is it with dogs, dude? And why are these fucking cops even chasing her? What the hell, dude? They have nothing else to do? Please, God, don't let me die. Now they have a reason to chase her. Bit of late night jaywalking. <laughs> now this party gets raided. <laughs> oh. Who would carry a cake at this late hour? That's on her. Not Rue. The person who carried the cake. <laughs> oh my god, what morons, dude. <laughs> this city will burn tonight. There, that was close. Dude, another dog. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. Yeah, you did a great job tonight, guys. <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> How did this clumsy drug addict manage to get into the, into that bin? Ruby Bennett, I'm so happy to see you. So good news, I sold all your drugs. Uh, can I have more? <laughs> all I've got is morphine. Well, I can take morphine. I appreciate you coming here with all this jewelry and stuff, but when do you think you're going to come up with the rest of it? As soon as somebody else leaves his garage door open. It's one of the good parts of being a woman. Even if you don't have money, you've still got something people want. <laughs> Let me help you get cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, prepare her for your little human trafficking scheme. Do you don't have any pills or anything? I don't have any pills. I'm so sorry. So this whole morphine thing is just its just for that preparation, huh? I'll take anything that you have. Rue, please bear with me. I've never done this before, I swear. But I'm willing to give it a try just for you. You know what's funny, Rue? Dude, how deep are you going? Are you digging for gold? So surely she's not going to allow her to get out of that morphine trance. So someone probably needs to save Ru. Yeah, not everyone is an amateur like your mother. This woman runs a tight ship and a locked ship. <laughs> Why didn't she give her more morphine though? Dude, that's a bit disappointing how easy she got out of there. Unless this isn't real. 